Hey guys, welcome to my 3D photo and painting tutorial and just a quick few things I want to mention before we get started. This ins uh, this installation only works for Windows and for NVIDIA graphic card. For me, I use um, GTX 1080 because if you use other graphic cards like AMDs, I have no idea um, if it works or not. So if it goes wrong or something, I, I probably don't have the expertise to fix, fix it. I stutter a lot, sorry. Um, all the links will be down in the comments for you to use. And let's get started. So we go to their blog for 3D photo and painting and we scroll down to get the links, which you click on the code, which links you to the GitHub page. And now you have to clone and download the repository. And now you choose the place you want to place your zip file and unzip it. Usually it produces one extra file folder for you. So I usually um, control X to um, cut the inner folder and then paste it outside the folder and delete the original folder since it's empty. And yes, now you have the whole GitHub repository for 3D photo and painting. The next thing you want to do is to download Anaconda 3. Uh, link in the description. Download whichever your um, computer is. If it's 64 bits, download 64 bits. If it's 32, download 32. Well, it doesn't matter if you're 64 and download 32. Now you just have to wait. After it is downloaded, you open the installer and you click everything on default. And you can set a custom destination you, you like or just leave it there if you don't want to change anything. Leave everything on default and install. It might take some time, so just wait patiently. Now you open up your search bar and search Anaconda prompt right there, and then we get it, and then we open it here. Now go to the file explorer where you have your 3D photo and painting files, and then you can click, click here, double click, and you can get the file, copy the file destination. Or you can click there, both works. And you get the file destination and then you copy it and then you paste it into your anaconda prompt with with typing cd space first which means you're going towards that destination my github repository copy is on gdisk so if i paste the thing with cd in it does not change the location since it's changing for gdisk and because we're on c stick uh c disk right now it does not show you that we're where we at in gdisk so all you have to do is to type g column to go to gdisk and then you can see here that you're on gdisk and you just have to copy the first line of code which creates a virtual environment for you and set it up for you by having the python 3.7 in there and now you just have to wait for a bit which is probably like 10 minutes what does here is to create an environment for you for all the libraries that you install, which is excluded in this specific virtual environment called 3DP. Now you copy the second line, conda activate 3DP and paste it into the anaconda prompt and in which it activates your 3DP virtual environment and can see it from here. And after that, you copy the third line of code, which is pip install dash r requirements dot text. That installs all the stuff you need for this um, AI. And for some reason, um, Cynet works here. Doesn't work for me, and it pops up a lot of red, red text. But even though it says it failed, I still was able to run the program smoothly. So. So just let's keep going. On the fourth line, you copy the fourth line and basically install more stuff. These are basically all the frameworks for neural networks or like AI related stuff. And then, yeah, it takes a while to download too. And for the next section, you copy the first line of code, which is chmod plus x download.sh. And then you copy and paste it. And for the last line, the dot slash download.sh, it is a bit different since uh, we're on Windows and we're on Anaconda. And this is because you the dot slash is a Ubuntu function. And what you have to do instead is to type bash space download dot sh. 
and then press enter. And this is basically downloading all the models and weights for you. And now everything is set after you finish downloading the models. It may take up to like 10 minutes, depends on um, your internet speed. Now you open the image folder and, and this is where you input your image to make it 3D like or like have different um, 3D effects like dolly zoom effect on it. And once you put the image in it, oh, um, the image has to be in JPEG, so JPG dot, I mean dot JPG, or else um, the the file wouldn't work since it is default is JPG files. So if you have other files, just go online and search a image converter to JPG image, and you copy this line of code here, and you paste it into the Anaconda prompt. Now you copy this line of code and then and now you just have to wait for six minutes it always usually stucks like here for a bit and it usually runs for like six minutes or less i mean for me well after everything is loaded you can see the load bar here it's for four kinds of video one is swing one is zoom one is dolly zoom and one is circle yes these are all the movements that it will perform on the image and you can go back to your last page which is the f overall like all the where all the files are and you go to the videos and you can see all your results are there and now if you want to make more new images you just go back to the image folder and you delete that one and then you put a new image and then you're all set for a new 3d image render and then if you just close this anaconda window everything will be the virtual environment will close automatically so don't worry and yeah that's it for today's tutorial um if you have any questions comment down below uh, I will try to answer them if I know how to. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want more tutorials on other AI programs, uh, comment down below too. And check out my main video if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time.